Did you make a bad video? Are you looking for a way to enhance it? In this video, we're gonna test out iMovie's Any Enhancer, and I'm gonna show you the before and after of how it can transform your video. With the power of AI, you can increase the quality and decrease the blur. Before we do that, my name is Michelle, and I've been in the marketing game for close to 20 years now, and I love to share what I've learned and the tools that I use with other entrepreneurs. So if this info resonates with you, or if you find it helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. All right, let's dive in. Diving into iMobi's Any Enhancer, this is an AI video enhancer and it is for both Mac and Windows. So everybody should be able to use this. It is a program that you can download and then you will kind of run it from your desktop there. It's giving you kind of a preview here of a few of its capabilities of whether that be colorizing a video or enhancing like the frame rate and the quality of it getting rid of some of that blur. But the best way to show you is to actually show you on a real example that I have. So there's, again, a few of the abilities that it has for resolution enhancement, denoising, frame interpolation. If you check out the link, it's gonna give you all of these details. Plus, I do have a coupon code for you if you decide that this is something that you want to try out. All of those details will be listed in the description. So let's just get started and show you how quick and easy it is to correct a video. So I am just going to click this section and upload a video. And I have a clip from a project that I was working on and I'll say I was so devastated. The hats were the things that were in focus and if you look at their faces, you can see, you can obviously see them, but they're a little bit blurry. They're not as crisp as they as they could have been and I think the most devastating part was that I didn't realize this until I was editing because when I was viewing it through the camera, it all looked good. I just wasn't quite paying enough attention. So it was completely my fault. So let's just get started with this intelligent enhancement. We can see that we've got several options over here. And in this intelligent enhancement is going to enhance facial features and improve the overall video resolution. So I could start at 2K. I could also go to 4K. Let's start with the 2K option. And then I'm gonna preview. So in order to do that, I have the ability to do a three second or five second preview. And we can just run with the five second. And then I just click this preview button to give me a look of what it's capable of before it processes the entire video. So keep in mind that, that it does take a little bit of time to render. But once it does, you can see there is a dramatic difference in this video clip because we, as we can see the original video on the left and the face is just being blurred, the one with the intelligent enhancement on the right hand side has so much more clarity. It's crisp. You probably wouldn't even know that I had made the error in the first place because it does look very sharp. So this is truly a scenario where AI just saved me from a lot of heartache and disappointment. So this is a really fantastic tool. If you've got something that is slightly blurry, I think of course in situations where things are just way beyond fixable, it might not help out in this situation. But in these instances where there's just things that are slightly out of focus, you're really going to see a very clear dramatic difference. Now, if I love this video and I wanna go forward and render the rest of it, all I need to do is hit this export button and then it's going to process the whole video. Do keep in mind, like I said, it does take a little bit of time because it's doing all of those enhancements frame by frame. And uh, especially the longer your video is, the longer the time it is going to be to process it. So if you have clips of something, of a video that just need to be enhanced and maybe it's not the whole video, I would consider doing it maybe in chunks before uploading like a 10 minute video. If I wanna take a look at some of the other tools, I can exit this preview and we could go to face restoration if you want to see. There's a fast and there's a quality. So we'll just look at the quality and see how that goes. 
we can preview it in three seconds. I'll click the preview there. Another thing I'll note as it is processing and you can kind of see how quickly it is processing that video. I've got the preview history. So if I did need to go back and click on the intelligent enhancement to compare, I can do that because I've got that history tab over here. In this scenario, you're gonna see a similar result. Again, the faces are very crisp. You probably wouldn't know that there was an error in the first place. I think the difference between this one versus the intelligent enhancement where I had chosen that 2K resolution and you can see that the video is different dimension wise than the original 1920 by 1080, which is where this face restoration is coming into play. So we can see as that's playing through the three second preview of that. Again, if I love it, I can go ahead and hit export. If I wanna to continue to explore some options, I will go back to the exit preview. Now, if this video was black and white and I wanted to colorize it, I could, I could use this setting in here. If I needed to enhance the color, I could do that there. If the video had a little bit of static to it and I wanted to remove that noise, this is the tool that I would select there. And if there was a lot of motion and I wanted to make the video a little bit smoother, this is where that frame interpolation would come into play. I just wanna call a few of the other features before we wrap this video up. It does have the ability to clip the video. So if I were to click on this, I could drag. I did upload, the, the clip that I uploaded was like 37 seconds, but if I needed even shorter period instead of rendering out the whole 37 seconds, I could do that clipping in here and then hit select and it would shorten that timeline. If I needed to crop the video for whatever reason, let's say I was going to move this to social media and I needed a square, I could crop it right in there and then click that as well. Of course, if you make these changes, you can always have the ability to undo them if needed. Overall, this tool just makes it very easy to fix those videos that are slightly out of focus or a little bit noisy. This actually was a tool that helped me in a pinch and is definitely worth checking out if you are in a similar scenario. Again, like I mentioned, if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments and be sure to check out the description where you can get uh, information on the discount code if you want to check this out yourself. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.